वेलकम एवरी वन माय सेल्फ डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वाग कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक इन प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर्स वी कवर्ड इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोड्यूस एंड फिजिकल properties and characteristics of biological or agricultural produce so in this video lecture we will study about the thermal properties of the agricultural produce so this particular topic will be covered in four parts so thermal properties of biological or agricultural produce classified into three categories that is specific heat thermal conductivity thermal diffusivity so before going to study in this property details we will start with the introduction so why there is importance of studying this thermal properties of agricultural produce so the nature of biological material materials are generally much more complicated than those of non biological origin they are frequently non homogeneous in composition also they may vary widely from sample to sample in both composition and structure and their limits may be uncertain so even the composition of particular components may not be completely known and many of their chemical and physical properties may change with pressure time temperature moisture content and surroundings so all the agricultural commodity is a living entity so like for example grain or store food some of these these are the living entity the these entities changes the changes in these entities are quite pronounced so in thermal process generate heat and these thermal processes use atmospheric oxygen and give off carbon dioxide and other gases so the accumulation of these gases in atmosphere affect the nature and rate of the later life of biological material so many of these problems also encountered encounter in drying and storage of biological materials and may be analyzed by using heat transfer principles so the specific heat thermal conductivity and thermal diffusivity must be known before the equations of heat transfer can be used so consideration of heat transfer is not limited to problem of grain drying and storing only but may also be used for analysis of processes such as aeration dehydration refrigeration freezing etc so the knowledge of thermal properties is also essential for researchers and designers in the field of food science for a variety of purposes for example for predicting the drying rate or temperature distribution within the food of various compositions and geometric shapes when subjected to different drying heating or cooling processes or to allow optimum design of heat transfer equipment dehydrating and sterilizing apparatus so starting with the thermal property that is specific heat so the definition of specific heat is it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperatures of unit mass of substance through 1 degree celsius so this is nothing but the specific heat so the specific heat has unit kilo calorie per kg degree celsius kg kilo joule per kilogram kelvin btu per pound fahrenheit kilowatt hour per kg kelvin etc so these are the different units in different system for specific heat so this image shows the specific heat that is it is in other word we can also say, say that 
the amount of heat that must be added or removed in order to raise the temperature of unit mass of substance through 1 degree celsius this is nothing but the specific heat so measurement of specific heat specific heat of agricultural produce is measured in three ways or by three methods the first method is method of mixture second method is the guided plate method and the third method for measurement of specific heat is comparison calorimeter method uh, we will see this these methods one by one so starting with the method of mixture so a heat balance for a heating or cooling system cannot be attempted without knowledge of heat capacity of the material so for making a heat balance to a particular unit operation whether it may be heating or cooling so that balance cannot be attempted without the knowledge of the heat capacity of the material or these particular thermal properties of the material so the specific heat of agricultural produce can be determined by calorimeter calorimeter method so they there were two scientists that is Kazarian and Hall they use the method of mixture which involves the heating of a grain to a constant temperature and then dropping them into water in the calorimeter cup so then by using the method of mixture specific heat of grain is calculated so procedure how to measure the specific heat of a given agricultural produce so the first step in measuring the specific heat is the calorim calorimeter along with the stirrer is taken and is weighed with a suitable quantity of water the temperature of water is recorded that is room temperature of water is recorded with the help of thermometer the specimen whose specific heat is to be determined is weighed and is heated in a steam heater so we use the steam heater to heat the specimen whose specific heat is to be determined so the temperature of the sample is noted then the sample is dropped quickly into the calorimeter in order to avoid the heat loss to the surrounding and drop in the temperature of the mixture is observed so with the help of this equation that is specific heat s is equal to in bracket w s suffix plus m bracket complete into in bracket t2 minus t1 bracket complete divided by capital M in bracket T by T2 bracket complete so using this equation we can find out the specific heat of a given specimen so where W is nothing but the mass of calorimeter and stirrer in gram S suffix is the specific heat of material of calorimeter having unit kilojoule per kg Kelvin M is the weight of the water taken in gram T1 is the initial temperature of water and calorimeter in degree Celsius capital M is nothing but the mass of the sample in gram T is the steady temperature of sample in heater having in degree Celsius T2 is the final temperature of the mixture in degree Celsius and S that is capital S is nothing but the required specific heat of sample having in it kilojoule per kg Kelvin so while conducting this or measuring this specific heat of a given agricultural produce some precautions needs to be taken the first is the material should be dropped when it attains constant temperatures that it means we have to quickly drop material into the calorimeter cup containing water if we delay in dropping the specimen into the calorimeter cup the product will lose its heat into the surrounding and there will be error in taking the reading 
when dropping the material in the calorimeter the water should not be spilled to outside and the third one is the the heat loss in dropping the material should be very very less or it should be negligible so these are the precautions to be taken so thank you so in this way uh, in this particular video lecture we uh, discuss about the thermal properties its introduction and the first thermal property that is specific heat and its uh, uh, first method of measuring that is um, method of mixture we discuss in detail in this particular video lecture thank you